I was really out of step with the art world for a very, very long time. I had a different set of values. I did not believe in destroying the earth in order to make art. I believed in trying to bring my aesthetic into the environment and share it rather than impose it on anybody or anything. My original impulse with the fireworks pieces were to soften the environment. In contrast to some of my land art peers who were all like building, bulldozing, gouging out the earth. Many years ago, like in the 60s, Richard Serra had a show at the Pasadena Museum in which he piled sawed off trees in the middle of the museum. I spoke up about it and I can still remember him pounding on my front door and I went downstairs and opened the door and he was standing there with art for him and he said, you may not like it, but they do. I was just trying to fill the space and transform the space with beautiful color. In the late 60s and early 70s, there were no regulations. Me and my friends would just go out to the desert, to the national forest, if you can imagine. Now that's a very different landscape than there is today where you have to have permits and licensed fire technicians and all that stuff. You know, it's so different from the 70s, 60s and 70s where we all just walk through the pieces. Now you can't do that anymore. The way I lay out a fireworks piece is a lot like how I laid out the color in some of the paintings from that period. It's based on my color systems, except in this case, the color like blends in the air. ICA is doing a big show surveying almost four decades of my career. It's called Judy Chicago, A Reckoning, and we're gonna do a staged piece a purple poem for Miami in the center of the garden that will build to a kind of crescendo. Without having come here, here in Miami, there was no way I could have actually come up with that because they're very site specific. Oh my God! <laughs> there you go. We learned which way the wind is gonna blow. I'm not shaping the site to the piece. I'm shaping my piece to the site. It'll have more colors, it'll be more complex. For this major show, there's a lot of steps. There's a whole timeline. What I want is I want to establish the outside space. And then I slowly want to build internally so that it builds up in pace and also in intensity okay. until the center erupts. Blue fireworks are next to impossible. Really? This is the hardest color to make and to do a project to sustain duration. Blue is things. really hard to achieve in fireworks. Of course, that makes me want to find a way to <laughs> use it. it. <laughs> what would you think if we actually made four rectangular, all wood frames? And what I'm feeling is that we get some of these layers more at like a seated eye level. Raise them? You know, high down here down and low in or no, you know, mix out, and match it. Outside, no, like we'll cover from the outside yeah. in. I just think it'd be interesting to have a structure there. Mm -hmm. It's yeah, not, nothing yeah. I've ever done to have something to see that looks kind of like a minimal sculpture. This is the first time anybody's ever filmed other than Donald, you know, what goes into making a piece. Okay, but here's what we want to know. We want, do you have people who could build oh, a wood be structure for us before yeah. we get there? Okay, fine, and then the other thing is, should I ask them to paint it too? Three, two, one. Oh. Right. And then boom, something else. Right. As soon as it's dark, because right. they're pretty well timed, spot another thing happens, so it can be right. a reveal, it can be right. anything. Because yeah. you have 60 seconds of, of smoke, you saw how long you yeah. have. The smoke, the bigger flares, and then the mine. Purple mine. Purple smoke and the purple flares second, okay, got that? Yep. Blue first, purple second. 13, 14. Whoa, that's great, Chris. 
That's going to be beautiful. Let's just do the concept. The concept is the color of fade, the color of fade, the color of fade, and then chum bum! How to do that in terms of time, I'm not sure, but I certainly understand. Like, that's what I want to see. Okay, so now we have red smoke coming up by itself, right? Okay, so then we do mines. So here's the purple, and the red mixes with the purple, okay? We're going this way in terms of space. We're going this way in terms of intensity. We're going this way in terms of duration. We're doing it all at one time. What would be really nice is to plan this so some of the colored smokes mix, right? Now, I've done fireworks pieces going back into the late 60s, and it's a, a gift. I mean, it's going to be because you can't buy it, you can't have it, you can just experience it.